today's video, we're going to make a boot dryer. You've seen plenty of videos online on YouTube where guys go out and buy a bunch of PVC and they glue all the PVC together for their boots and then they connect a blow dryer, just hit a blow dryer on it. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody wants to hear a blow dryer blowing for an hour to two to three hours trying to dry off your boots. Then you see videos where guys will get the little fans for inside computers and they'll make a box and they'll buy these fans and they'll put the fans in the holes in the box and plug in. By the time you spend that money, you might as well just bought a regular boot dryer and did all that work to put it together. Also, that's a fan running. You're going to hear it, whether it's the blow dryer, of course, or some sort of fan. I've got another solution right here. Go out and buy a $30, $40 boot dryer. That's what I've had. I've had these for years, but there's a problem with these things, a big problem. This is the older version of this thing, and this is the newer version of it. You can see that on this one, the front cover's missing. There's the front cover, and I won't tell you what kind it is because they're not sponsoring this video. It's just made out of really thin, light plastic, not even like Schedule 40 PVC. It's pretty light, and what happens is this front piece, when you get it out of the box, you slide this front piece on, and you can see right here, it snaps. That piece snaps off from the weight of, if you put big boots on it, like um, ski boots, snowboarding boots, or whatever, and the kids are pushing down on it, it just, it just snaps this whole front piece off. You'll lose your whole front piece. But it still works. You gotta lean it against the wall, but you'll lose your front piece. Now this is the first one I had. I've had it for years, 20, 30 years. And you can see how I got new plastic and I kind of, I kind of rigged it together trying to hold this front piece on. But today we're going to make a boot dryer box. We're going to take this boot dryer here, make our own box, and then we're going to insert this into our box. That sounds kind of funny, but why would you do that? Because it breaks all the time. But if you look in here, underneath this thing, this still has the cover on it. This just snaps on too. This is just a snap on piece to cover the inside, the heating element. If you look inside here, inside that tube is just a little tiny heater element. It comes off your cords and it just heats up. There's no fan. You don't hear nothing. It's quiet. It doesn't get hot like to burn you. Nothing. We're going to figure, try to figure out a way to take this out, take these tubes, and insert it into our own box instead of the base that they have instead of throwing these out when they break because these are just sitting and I, I don't throw it out I had it sitting in the closet and I finally decided we've got to do something with this let's do it all right let's see what kind of wood I got down here in this other garage I know I got scraps back here what do we got there's a nice piece Oh yeah, that's a whole piece. Shoot, that's a nice piece right there. Wow. Got a bunch of different scrap, but I'm looking at this one, this piece here, cause it's got some nice finish on it. Let me try to pull that out. All right, here's what I got. That's plywood. Well, it's both plywood, but this has the regular builder finish on it. And this actually has like a, a real nice uh, laminate cover on it. So I, I think I'm gonna cut this one up. But you can see when a saw cuts it, a saw kind of rips it up. So I'll, instead of using a circular saw, maybe I'll use the jigsaw to try to get a nice, a nice cut out of that. When I put the two heaters next to each other, if they were touching just like that, that's pretty close. And even when you put your boots on them or your shoes, they kind of like touch in the middle. So I think I'm going to make this space a little bit bigger here and then really separate the two like this so that you can get a defined pair of shoes when they're on. So that's two feet. Your feet sounds pretty nice, actually. Yeah, 20, 24 inches ought to do it. 24. Now, if you look at the original boot dryer, shoot, they're only they're only like 10 inches, 10 inches wide. So we can go a foot. We can make it a two foot by one foot. 
that seems pretty simple enough. I'm gonna use the jigsaw so it doesn't rip up the edge of board as much. I put a brand new blade on that. Some of the smallest teeth I could find. bad except for the very beginning right here the saw blade was like as i was cutting up and down it was twisting and i had to keep tr trying to straighten it out so right there got jacked up the height on this thing the base is about two and a half inches i think we're going to go four inches high so we'll make we got to make four inch uh, sides on this thing yes yeah, so i want the i want the top I don't want to see the team. Uh, the, I don't want to see the board from the top. Instead of it being like this, and when you're putting your boots on, you would see this cut board. I want it to be solid like that. You'll see the face, but not from the top. So we need to make another one of these. I got inch and a half deck screws, the smallest I got. But you're talking three quarter into the long face, three quarter into that whole face right there. So it, it'll get enough bite on it. Now I do have a brad nailer, but I don't want to use that because I feel like they always wiggle their way loose over time. So I'm just going to put four of these deck screws in here and we'll just wood putty them. made it in okay now for the sides so that's what I wanted from the top I didn't want to see this cut from the top now the sides we can get a piece on the sides to cover all these seams we got a bad board on this edge here so we don't want to use that so this corner here looks pretty good so we'll cut this up Let's try to squeeze these in because it's off a little bit. Let's try to bring this in a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. So you can see how this side's sticking out. We're gonna pull that in.
we're going to sand it smooth and fill in these holes. This is actually a general purpose drain. And this is what's going to keep this whole thing together, I think. Let's take this cover off here. And now we can drill through it. I think that'll do. It's a little bit bigger than this, but that's okay. Just fit. Now, to make these holes, to start these holes, we're going to go in reverse first so it don't rip it. Now these have to go on like that. They already have holes here, but I have to make it go all the way through. And I think I'm gonna put four. We'll just use the same screws. They're going to stick out underneath the box, but maybe I'll cut them off underneath. The I got to put one more on. The store only had three, so I'm short one, but we can we can still finish it. All right, so this will be the front because you can see on the dryer how there's more on the front. I guess so when you put your shoe upside down with heavy boots, it won't tip over. So we kind of made, we, we put the holes closer to the back. But this is where the vent is. This is where the cold air comes up underneath and goes inside here. So in the back, we have to make some kind of vents in the back. Let's use, let's use one of our cutouts. Now for the electric cord that's gotta come through. One inch ought to do it. All right, a couple of things I don't like is how rough it's, how rough this is, and somehow, and some of the sharp edges, and where some of the screw holes are kind of flaking up. So I got a sander. Let's see if we can just run this sander over it, see if it makes a difference. <laughs> So if you look here at my bad cuts, they weren't perfect and it's kind of sticking out. I'm going to try to sand this and try to blend it all in. How that, how right there, it's not so perfect of a corner because that's actually the front. But the sanding, the sanding is making the plywood have like a routed edge on it. Hey, Duke. Hey, bud. You're always helping. You're always helping. 
but it's actually nice. It's smooth. It's not looking like plywood as much, but more like a piece of wood with a nice edge on it. So, but this piece right here, this front, we're going to, we're going to work this, all this down and see if I can blend that in and make it look a little bit better. Take a little pressure on this. I actually had some old oak blocks. These are, this is a hardwood oak on there, but I think that's gonna look nice on the sides. I'm thinking about, I'll sand this down, look at that. I put that on each side so you can have something to grab onto. Let's try to, let's see if I can sand these down. Okay, so before and after, look at that, smooth them edges down, and that'll look good on there. That's the two pieces right there. Look at, look at before and after. We'll screw it right through, but I think the screws will split this. So we're going to probably do a pilot hole, I imagine first. That's a lot better with some handles on it. Now you can grab it because it's going to be flush on the ground because I didn't want dust, dog hair, or anything to be able to go underneath of it. The only thing I wanted to go in is through these vent holes in the back. That's it. So then you can hold it. But let's, let's sand this all, let's blend this all in, the angles on this thing. Now I got some uh, some wood putty, and we're going to fill in these holes here. We moved operations inside to finish this last part because. This stuff needed to dry, and when we put our finish on it, we want it to be pretty dry too. Yeah, now that's better. You can still see the holes where the screws were, but they're filled in, and actually I think it might add to the to the whole look of the thing once we get this coat, this finished coat on there. Let's wipe it down with a wet, wet rag. Now we're just gonna put some coating on this thing. Cause when you put boots on it and wet stuff and it's gonna drip and we don't wanna mess it up. So we're just gonna slap this on here all the way around. In between coats, we'll give it a light sanding. And actually, where that wood putty is, where the screw holes are, actually looks pretty cool. I was worried about seeing the uh, screw holes that I probably should have put it on with a brad nailer. But it actually looks pretty cool. I'll show you here when I'm done.
Here's the two boot dryers. This is the older version that I fixed myself. And it came with a fixed tube and it just had these little shoe inserts that went on the top. And you can see how dirty it is here. That's from duct tape because every time you pull your shoe on and off, these get stuck inside your shoe. So I would put that on and, and wrap duct tape around it. And then the newer version, they came out with this newer version. It has this whole tube on it. And you take this whole tube on and off and the foot thing is connected up here. But they have longer versions in case you have like waders, like hunting waders or fishing waders. You can snap them on to make it longer. So I like this style better. You can buy a shorter one or a longer one with the foot, the foot already built onto it. So I like that. But what we want to look at, what we're concerned with is underneath it here. This is the cover that goes on top of these things. It goes just like this right on and you can see where it would have been melted together like this and that covers your electric cord we're going to try to take this electric cord out and take these heating elements out to me it looks like they're only just they're just slid inside there and they're held on and it looks like they're just held in place by this little rod maybe that has it's it's so long that it just has enough tension outwards to keep it in place let's try to pull this thing out of here without breaking it if i break this our whole plan is ruined all right let's see if we can pull this out of here yeah just enough bend on it if you can get just enough bend on it it looks like it's going to come out yes yes look at that and then you pull this out and that's it. That's what we wanted right there. Now, we can't lose our little pin here. Make sure we don't lose that pin. All right, so that's that's what holds it in. This is what you want, besides a blow dryer or those computer fans, is this thing. This little, I don't even know how they do it. It just heats up just enough to make that cold air suck up through those vents and go up the tubes and into your shoe but that's what you want what we do need is these tubes and they don't just fit inside here they don't just pop in they're actually they're actually probably uh bonded on there glued on there so let's i'm just going to cut this off right here so there's our cut pieces so we need this our heating elements, and of course, we still need our tubes to put it on top. So now we're going to work on this, this one. That's it. There is a little screen halfway up that tube, I guess, so you don't drop nothing down inside the tube and it fall on top of this. When we cut the tubes off, they stayed inside there because they're pretty far up there. So when we put it back together, it'll be fine. So I'm going to go cut these off. That first coat dried. And I can feel it now. And it's a little rough. It's a little bubbly, I guess, from the stuff drying on here. So we're just going to give it a really light sand with some really fine sandpaper to take that down. And we'll put another coat on. I'll let that dry and put a third coat on. I like to do it three times. Wipe it down one more time. All right, so that's the second coat. I'll let it dry, I'll sand it, I'll do it the third coat, and I won't show you that. And then we'll move on to the next step. I'm gonna throw some on the bottom while I'm here. In case it sucks up any moisture from the ground, maybe it'll help, especially on these edges. We'll get some on these edges. We're moving on. The box is completely done. 
Got my last piece from the store and we did three coats on top of this, sanding in between each coat. So this is all good to go. Now we're gonna put our tubes in, the ones that have the screens on it, and we'll put our cut side in first. We're on to the technical part of this part of this project. And we're gonna start playing with our heating elements now. And if we look at this, when I spread this apart, the black wires won't have enough slack to go all the way up into that tube. It's not long enough. So I'm gonna to have to flip it and use the white wire to go up in inside because I can pull this apart and get more slack but of course I got to drill a new hole on this side now all right let's see if I can fit it up in there Bent it a little bit. So that's what I was trying to do. Bend that pin back and there's little tabs around the sides to hold it up in there. So I got this one all hooked up temporarily with staples, but I found some strap and I'm gonna cut little pieces with some screws to hold this stuff on here so it don't get yanked out. And they're not big enough to go through. Okay, so all I have to do is slide the heating elements into this one and then plug it in. Well, I'll tape it up and plug it in and then I'll brace it just like that. It needs a little something on here. Now, that looks better. That's better. Now we can try it out. So, which one do I have hooked up? All right, so this side is the side that's hooked up for now. Let's plug this sucker in. For the test, I got some really wet, soaking wet paper towels. Let's lay these paper towels over this thing. Pretend it's like it's shoes. And we'll see, now they're, they're soaking wet. It took about half hour or 40 minutes for this to dry. You can see how it's it's shaped like that. This is all this is all completely dry. Down here is still wet because it's oh, it's below the it's below the dryer it's hanging down, so it's pretty much just air drying. But you can feel the heat right here from the heating elements, and it can feel it was it's warm up here. It was warm, but it's actually the paper towel is actually holding its shape because it's it dried in that position. So it's working. The finished product. We got it drying off right there. Well, look at the box. Remember I was talking about the holes filled in? They actually look pretty good on there. The handles. 
Even the handle's filled in pretty nice. The vents in the back. Still gotta get a, a connector to hold that cord in place right there. Still gotta finish that. And I wanna get some goof off and get this old glue off of here from that old duct tape. You can see the duct tape. And I might actually, I might actually drill two screws in here to hold these on so when you pull your shoes, they don't pop off instead of having to worry about that again. But that is it.